Morning team, we are here in Ottawa. Hi, I'm Byron Williams, project director for the uh, CNL projects in Ottawa, and we're in the uh, ANMRC big room. Okay, well, let's go for a tour then. So we've tried to uh, set up the uh, big room with some uh, physical distancing items in place. Let's have a look at this. This is, yeah, the big shot of uh, the big room kind of post-COVID uh, with a little bit more spaced out. And Hi, team. Hi, Sean. We're just having our estimating meeting. Morning, right team. <laughs> I first of all wanted to thank everyone for the really warm welcome I've had joining uh, the team. It's, it's been really rewarding starting to work with everyone, the, the vibe, the positivity. It's, uh, it's a really, really amazing thing you guys have here as far as that culture. We really want people to become owners, to become owners of this company. It's one class of share that's very unique in this, in this market, in this industry. This is where you really get to, uh, you know, have rewards for your efforts. So we're at 187 uh, unit holders and we want to just keep growing that as our company grows, right? Being an employee-owned company has its rewards of working together for a unified goal. Had a really good day today. We went through financial reviews, um, some sales reviews. I was able to sit in the leadership meeting with the leadership team, had a number of one-on-ones with some of the staff members, and then uh, they had their quarterly town hall. I think a lot of exciting buzz on where they're going to go and and uh, how they're gonna grow the district here. So this is my second day here in Ottawa. Spent yesterday in the office with the team, so today we're gonna do the same thing. So let's go on in. Dan Belcourt, I'm the estimating manager in Ottawa. How long have you been with Shandos now? Uh, almost two years, January 2019. So you're a long-term employee in Ottawa then? I'm a long-term employee in Ottawa, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you tell us a little bit about your role? We look at the drawings, we look at the specs, we look at validation reports, we look at what we're supposed to deliver, and then we compare that to the information that we're getting from our partners. And we, you know, we're doing value engineering, we're doing costing, and we're keeping everybody on the same page. Why did you join Shandos? IPD was, was a big thing for me and just listening to others that uh, were working in IPD and it's a different way of doing things and you know that's Shantos's motto, a different way of doing things, see things differently and, and uh, it's the best decision I've ever done. What differentiates the IPD experience? Than, than a standard contract. I think it's the collaboration, having everybody in the same room, the consultants, the engineers, the architect, the contractors as well, the subs, and having our meetings, looking at drawings and details and figuring out the best way to do it. But we all have the same common goal. So my name's Kevin Robertson, a project control specialist. What's your job? So project controls, um, you know, primarily there's kind of three pillars of project controls. Um, there's scheduling, there's cost, and there's estimating. Now, my primary focus on this project is scheduling and cost. So we build an integrated schedule, a unique project here where we have uh, a number of partners, all with specific deadlines and target dates. And we work together towards you know, achieving uh, success uh, from a schedule perspective. What are your thoughts on an IPD project then? So I, I worked on the owner side. Okay. Um, I've worked engineering, I've worked on the construction side of things, I've also worked on the owner side. And uh, this IPD is a, it's a unique situation where there's not necessarily one prime contractor dictating the flow of the project. Uh, you know, back to this collaboration effort, this is very collaborative, I think. You have to ensure that you know the partners are in tune uh, with what's taking place in the project. Everyone has a say in the direction that the project is moving towards. Why did you join Chandos? I mean, ultimately, I really thought about the culture. I love the fact that the company is it's there's a business uh, employee ownership perspective as well, which is really attractive to me. How about collaboration? 
collaboration is an interesting concept where um, you know there's not always one right way of doing something and collaboration hopefully will allow you to see that there are there's more than one way to get to that finish line uh, my name is Hazem Abdul Naim and I'm a project manager with uh, Chandos Construction. Uh, I've been with Chandos for uh, almost six years now. I started in, uh, in Calgary as, as we started expanding in Ontario. Uh, there was an opportunity for me to uh, come and work on about one of our largest projects in, in the company's history. And uh, all I could uh, do was uh, obviously jump on that opportunity. The culture in Chandos is, uh, is beyond expectations of any employees. We nourish clarity, we, we nourish uh, in, in innovation, we nourish uh, growth, um, and um, working in, in, in a company that helps you uh, grow and develop and, and excel within your own uh, personal career path means, uh, means a lot to a lot of us uh, within the organization and um, you get what you want uh, as long as you work hard for it and you prove yourself to it. And uh, yes, ownership and, and being part owner of Chandos is, uh, is important and is rewarding, uh, but uh, Chandos is, is just not the only thing that defines Chandos. There's a lot of other things, in my opinion, that defines uh, what it means to work for Chandos. Who do you look up to as a leader in the organization? There's, there's honestly a several people within this organization that I consider leaders. Um, from project coordinators that I've worked with that are considered leaders in their own role, uh, superintendents that are uh, great at the job that they do. To me, a leader is any person in the organization that I can learn something from. And uh, with how great our people are, um, we, we can always learn something from everyone within the organization. Why don't we start by just telling everybody what a project director does? I kind of view my role more as a um, steward and manager of the team. I'm a manager of people, uh, providing support when required, um, providing coaching when required, and um, I sometimes getting into the details when required. The CNL projects is composed of uh, one project that has three buildings, uh, a business hub, a support facility, which is a site shop, and a logistics warehouse, which is the uh, entrance to the facility and uh, a warehouse. And the other project is the Advanced Nuclear Materials Research Center, um, ANMRC, and that is a, uh, a research facility uh, for the research of radioisotopes and radioactive material, and it's composed of a hot cell block and a lab block. Can you tell us why you became a unit holder and what, what value you put on owning part of the company you work for? The reason I purchased shares is I see what we're doing out here in Ontario and just starting uh, with these mega projects, which are the largest that Shandos has ever done. And we're already succeeding as a company nationwide. And then you just layer on success out here and it, it's going to be um, a very good investment. What does inclusivity mean to you? It means um, listening to everybody and sometimes being active in that inclusivity. Um, it's more than just um, uh, saying you want to hear everybody's opinion. Um, sometimes you have to go and be proactive in getting uh, people to be inclusive as part of the process. Uh, so it's, it's an active way to make sure people are engaged and are heard. I joined Shandos um, because I was attracted to the idea of uh, employee ownership as well as the, uh, the idea of uh, continuous improvement. Um, the fact that sort of using my opinions and having a voice that's, that's heard by the, uh, by the team is really important to me. Why do you value employee ownership? Employee ownership um, encourages people to take pride in what they're doing. They see the value of success and it, it's sort of a driving factor in improving yourself in the company that you work for. I'm Kathy Lehman, Safety Solutions Specialist. I joined Shandos because of the safety culture, uh, the growth of the company. What's been your best memories so far while working with us? I honestly think it's been COVID, believe it or not. Um, I think as a company, 
we surpassed a lot of other companies in our competitions and stuff in the industry. Uh, we gave the client a great uh, format to go back to work and get us back to work and stuff and we worked as a team and it was a truly a team effort to get us back to work on a nuclear site. It's rewarding for the client uh, and it's rewarding for us as well uh, to be recognized as a safety leader in the industry. Um, we're taking it to another level on this project. Collaboration. What's your definition, Kai? What comes to mind? I think it's getting everybody around the table, getting their ideas put down. I think you cannot do a project on your own. You need your partners. Uh, you need to work together, collaborate for the good of a project to be successful. Well, team, I just uh, finished my week in Ottawa. I was able to reconnect with uh, some of the team that have been here for a couple of years and meet some of the new team. Really strong culture, high drive, high desire to win. Pretty excited to see where they're going to go. So the Ottawa trip has been um, fantastic. Seeing the people, people has been fantastic. Great trip, uh, great team. Thanks everybody. Mm -hmm.